everybody welcome to Elisa's art room sorry I'm late it has been a crazy evening um, my printout printed backwards I had to go reprint it so and I couldn't do the live without it so I had to go do it um, but anyway I am here I'm gonna get you guys pulled up so I can see your chat we are live on Facebook a little late better late than never there's the live. Hopefully it will stay connected. Whew. I was like, I made this, I'm making the zine tonight. And so I had printed the thing out on my, my um, sketchbook thing, sketch club. And it, it printed backwards. And I was like, oh. so I had to go print it again and read, flip everything. And it was just not what I expected. I was not expecting to have to do that. So sorry I'm late. Um, let's see. So like I said, we're going to do a zine tonight. Um, I haven't done a zine, actually. I don't think I've ever done one. So I was looking at them. Um, Tracy Fox did one maybe a few days ago. I don't remember. I look, didn't really look at the time or date on the stamp on it, but she did one. And it made me think, I was like, you know what? That'd be fun. So we're going to do that. Um, I'll link to hers because it is pretty cool. And she does it with her little freebie. But there are tons and tons of videos on zines. i watched a bunch of them and seems like everybody does them a little bit different um but we're going to do a version of a zine and i will talk to you a little bit about them and what they are and let's go ahead and get started i think i have everything i'm like i'm so flustered because i'm late. i think i have everything i need and if not i will make it work with what i have <laughs> all right guys so let's get started i'm gonna pull the camera up top so i can see everything okay Sorry about my finger. Got in the way there. Oh. Ah, this. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, why is it not showing? And it's my thing. This cover is really throwing me off since I changed it. Let me get something on here for reference. Okay, that looks all right. And we're kind of straight. See if we can straighten it up a little bit better. That's a little better. All right, let's try that. Whew. All right, here's my journal. Okay. Okay, so let's see. What is a zine? So a zine is... It's a small, circulated, self-published work of original or appropriated text and images usually reproduced via photocopier. In a nutshell, it's a little booklet that people, the, the original thing was to, to make them and share them. Um, and they're usually theme-based or cause-based or things like that. And typically you would make your little zine and then you would open it back up, photocopy it, and send it out to other people to share. Um, ours isn't really going to be for that purpose, although I am trying to use all copyright-free stuff so that I can. Um, and I'm just debating on that. If I want to do that or not, I might. We're, we're going to see how it goes. I had, I was going to use a digital from um, line dot arrow and then I decided I didn't want to do that because if I do decide to print it and share it I can't do that um, because I think that that would go against her rules and it's a, it's a little tricky because like I can make a journal with her stuff and I can sell that journal because the pieces are used in the the making of this now technically if you're making a zine you're kind of making that too you're making something but the catch is, I'm not selling that actual zine. Like here, I'll show you Tracy's zine that's kind of made. I, I made a little template, okay? So you end up with this little booklet, okay? So if I was to sell this booklet that I made using my copyrighted digitals that I bought from Etsy or wherever, um, that would be fine because I'm selling the actual book it, booklet with the pictures and things all over it. And you know what I mean? It's been 
put together, so to speak. I'm not just selling or printing the image. Um, so that would be fine. But when you make a zine, you typically make the zine and then you open it up and you print what you've made and then you send that off so that someone else can fold it up and make their own zine. So that's where, that's where the problem comes in because you can't take an image that you've purchased for that, that purpose and photocopy it and send it off because then it's, then you're breaking copyright rules. So you, you got to be real careful when you, when you do something like this that you're sharing. Um, so that's why I either may not share it like that and just not use it for that purpose and simply put it in my journal, which was the original purpose. But when you do make a zine, that is the original reason for doing it was to be able to share it like that, basically publicate it, so to speak. Um, but if you're going to do that, you have to make sure that all of your images are public domain and that you're not going to have any issues with copyright. Make sense? So that's that in a nutshell. This is a really cute one by Tracy Fox. Um, I will link it. It's not what we're doing tonight, but I will link hers on my thing just so you can see it because she, she does a real good job of explaining it. And I like the way she does it. And I watch like six different people do theirs and everybody folds it a little different. Everybody cuts it out a little different. Um, and I did like the way she did it. I think the best. So there's one step she does that's a little bit different, but you'll see what I mean. But anyway, that's it in a nutshell. So I was trying to print out this public domain um, Library of Commerce of the book, the Alice in Wonderland book. And these, these are copyright free. I can do whatever I want with these. So did I freeze? My phone froze. I, my iPad's probably fine. Let me look iPad's fine, phone froze already. Um, so I could use these and be fine. I, I don't have to worry about that. But um, if I don't use this and I use some of Line.Arrow stuff as the background, then I, I'm running into a, a kind of a gray area. So, so I, I don't know. We're gonna we might do two, and one might just be for my journal, and one might be to share. So maybe I'll do that. They they're not super super detailed, but they do take a little bit of time. Um, just because of decorating. The cutting doesn't take that long. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know what the reasoning is. I know you have to see this, but it doesn't matter. Nothing on here you don't see anyway. <laughs> it just will not stay up. It wants to crash like every 10 seconds. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And... So this is our journal so far. It's getting there. We made our signatures. So we've got our two signatures made. And um, we will probably make a pocket to put this in tonight. I just don't know where I'm going to stick it. Probably on one of just the planer pages. And we'll just make a pocket for that. The one we create and um, put it in here somewhere. And then I'll, I'll have to debate on if we can have one that I can share. I would love to have one that I can share with y'all because I think that would be cool. But So, let's just see. So, here's a little really simple version because I kind of like to show it first because it's easier to understand. Um, so, a zine basically is one sheet of paper. It can be basically any size that is within reason. Um, I've seen it done with an eight and a half by 11. I've seen it done with an um, A4. I've seen it done with a 11 by 14. So I think as long as it's kind of rectangular shaped, um, you're good. But if you're doing an eight and a half by 11, this is the basic idea. And what happens is the images on this side are upside down and the images on this side are the right way. Okay, this ends up being your front cover. This ends up being your back cover. This is page one, two, three, four, five, and six. There's technically eight pages if you count the front and back cover, these two. Okay, so you fold it in half. I'm going to do this slow. 
in a minute. You fold it in half, you fold it in half, you fold it to the center, you fold it to the center, and then you crease everything really, really well, okay? It's got this little cut in the middle. The easiest way to do this cut in the middle, I've seen it done three or four different ways, okay? Some people, for this cut in the middle, they draw a line here, they draw a line here, and then they take an X-Acto blade and they cut it. It's one way. Some people fold it in half like this and they cut a slither off the top just from here to here with their scissors. Okay. And some people take it like this, fold it this way, and take the scissors and cut from here to here, which personally I think that's the easiest way. I don't know why anybody does it any other way because it seems like that's the easiest way to do it. But I've seen it done lots of ways. So you do whatever you want. But we're going to do a slow one. This is just to kind of give you an idea because I think it's easier for you to understand if I show you the idea first. Um, and then, it, I don't know, for whatever reason, it makes it easier for me to understand. So I think you'll be the same way, hopefully. So this is my printout that I did. Um that is the public domain. I did it really, really fast. I ended up with some lines that don't quite line up, but I think if I ink them, I'll be okay. Um, but basically, assuming I fold everything right, I've got a front cover, back cover, page one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. These are all this direction. These are all that direction, upside down. All right. So we're going to hope this works. And if not, I do have the one from line.error that's just it's a decorated page, so we'll probably do one too. I'd love to do both. So step one is fold it in half. You can fold it in half this way for step one, or you can fold it in half this way. If one is easier than the other for you, do that. It really does not matter. But we're going to do it this way. So just try to keep your edges really, really, really straight and perfect because that will make, see, see that, this is me that that little mess up there that's just me because I I took each individual page and tried to line it up and uh, <laughs> it was kind of a nightmare but I think it'll be all right um so step one is fold that direction and fold it back kind of like when you're doing a pop-up you want it to go both directions because it just will make life easier and you can use your bone folder so that you get nice crisp edges Open her back up, and we're going to fold it this way. Lining her up, so half and half, first two folds. Okay, crease it, turn it the other way, crease it. Okay, and now you want to get this fold and this fold, and the easiest way is just to go to the center. Okay, if you can't see the center on this side, maybe flip it over because you can see it better there. If you still can't see that line and you find that really difficult, a good way to do it is to take your ink, fold this in half, and just make yourself a little line with your ink. And it will just put a little bit of a darkness there so that you can see it a little bit better, I think and then you fold to that. Try not to go over it. Try to go just to it and make sure it's straight as you can get it because that'll just make your book look cleaner at the end. So do kind of sort of take your time. Fold opposite direction. Same thing on the other side. There is an ink line here. I, I'm looking at my other camera and I can realize that you all can't see that ink line, but it is there. And it really does help. Hey, 
Dorothy. I'm glad you got notified. I was running so late I didn't get a chance to message you. So I'm glad you got notified. All right, so once you get all those folds, then you're going to want to we'll hold it this way. And you want to push it. So you hold your two ends like this and squish it in. Okay? The long, the long ends. And then you're going to want to fold those over. So fold those over, crease them, fold it over the other way, crease it. Okay? And you've got this. Now we need to, to cut that little line. If you can't do it from this side, just flip it over and do it from the other side. I think it's easier to do it from the other side, so we'll just flip it. And you're just going to cut. If you need to see your stopping point, go ahead and draw yourself a mark. You can ink it and draw a mark. Personally, I think it's just as easy just to ink it and to get a pencil and draw a line. But, so you're going to want to cut from here to here, just in the middle, on the long side. Make sense? All right. So the easiest way to do that, I think, is just to fold it in half. And if you can't, that line is really faint, guys. If you can't see your line, you can either ink it or you can get a ruler and draw it, whichever works. Okay? Cut your line. Try to cut it as straight as you can and stop when you get to the point. Now, if you go over your point and you rip it or anything, just repair it with some tape, some sort of thin tape. I know Tracy said she uses surgical tape. I don't have any surgical tape, but something. Repair it with something. But now you have, I'm trying to remember if it's this direction for the fold. Let me look at my cheat sheet. I have a cheat sheet. <laughs> I always have a cheat sheet, guys. With front facing, push outside panels in. All right, so front is facing. That's the part I couldn't remember. All right, so you do like this. So we've got these panels. We've got our little cut thing. Now you want to take this, turn it, one quarter turn, fold down. Now you have a star or an X or whatever you want to call it, a cross, cross or an X. Okay. And now you want to flatten that out. Okay. If you know what your pictures are, you will be able to tell where everything should be, but it can technically be folded wherever you want. I mean, if you want to fold it there, fold it there. If you want to fold it there, fold it there. It really doesn't matter. It, it makes very little difference except where openings that are somewhat closed are. Okay. No matter where you fold it, you will get a clean edge on this side. All right. So I've got my front and back covers there. So I'm going to fold mine there. And then you just want to try to even it up as best you can because it, it's never... It's never even, guys. I don't know why. I've done like six of them, and they never, ever, ever turn out perfectly even. <laughs> and all the other people said that, too. They said they just have a really hard time keeping these edges even, something about all the folds or something. I don't know. But get it as clean as you can get it. It really isn't a huge deal. And give it a crease, okay? And you can crease each page if you want. It really isn't absolutely necessary, but... It will make everything lay flatter if it has been creased well. Okay, so now you got your booklet. Let me zoom in. I'll zoom in just a little bit if I can get my camera to work. All right, camera, come on. Zoom. There you go. Is it focused? Am I flipped? No, I'm right. <laughs> I can't see it. It's so hard to see something that's two inches away from your face. Um, all right, so this is my little booklet. It's eight pages technically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? It can be whatever theme you want. We're going to do it with Alice tonight. So that's how that works. And then you end up with these little you know, pieces that you can make pockets, you can decorate whatever you want, or you could even just leave it like this and have a booklet. This is obviously not the whole story. It's just, it's just pages, not even in order. They're just some pages I picked and threw in here. Um, 
So we're just going to decorate over the top. I'm just using them as a background, honestly. I might keep this one mostly, but we'll see. So the idea is that you don't, if you're going to share it, you don't glue things down, okay? If you're not going to share it, and you're just going to use it as a little booklet, then you can sew these closed, you can glue them closed, you can do whatever you want. All right, um, we're going to make some little pockets and stuff because I think that's fun. But let's see. So I think I'm going to put a pocket maybe here. I'm going to look at the one Tracy did because she put it in a good spot that worked. Let me see. I think she put it on the second page. Uh, yeah, she put it on the second page. And then the third page, she put a pocket. All right, so on the second page, you have, if you folded it the same way I did, you have an opening at the top. Okay. This is a good spot to put a tag pocket. So what you want to do is either take your circle punch, punch a half hole. You can do it that way. Or you can do the tear one. I kind of like the tear one. It's kind of cool. So we're going to do the tear one on this one. So basically you just tear it a little bit. Just a little. Like maybe that much. And you just fold it down. Okay? Don't go over your edge of your booklet. So just kind of let it do like that. Okay, now we've got this plain stuff. We probably don't want that. So what we're going to cover that with some ink or something. And then for the third pocket, um, there's a opening here. This isn't closed, but it can be closed later. We're going to put a pocket here and we're going to just put a little circle punch here. So just reach in your half, half circle punch type thing. Make a little notch. Okay, so that will be the two pockets that we're going to have in this little booklet. And like I said, this is the way Tracy did, and I'll link her video. Am I going in and out of focus? It really hates being this close. All right, so now you want to cover this stuff so that it just doesn't look, you know, bad. So I'm going to grab something to cover it with. I think I will use... I'm trying to stay kind of copyright free on this one, and the other one will go. We're, I think I'm going to use some of the line dot error stuff. So let's see what I have that I can cover this with. I might just use line paper. I might just use ink. I think that if I use ephemera from Tim Holtz and stuff, I'll be fine. I don't think I'm going to have an issue with that. I'm just, I'm more worried about the digital. All right, let's see what I have in here. I want to keep it thin. I don't want anything too thick. But I do want something that's, you know, somewhat interesting. I might could use that. That's a little thick, but not too bad. Do I have some? can't use that because technically I made that copy. Could just use plain stuff. I didn't print this on coffee dyed paper either. Um, oops, let me zoom back out. Too close. Um, I didn't print it on coffee dyed paper. I could have, but I was honestly I was running. So you're late again, Lori. Don't feel bad. I was late too. So you haven't missed that much. You missed the fold. You'll have to go back and watch that. All right. Let's see. What do we have? that I can put behind that. That's lined out arrows. I don't want to use that. I don't think I want to use that. I'm probably just going to use something really generic. And I think the only paper I have is, it's not a copyright paper is probably going to be the Stamperia. And it's, it's technically copyright, but, but they give you permission, I think, to make this type of stuff. So I don't know. It's, it's such a gray area, guys. 
Here's another piece that's kind of plain. What's that one? I only need two small pieces, I think. I think that'll be enough. I wish they had thinner paper, though. I don't have anything thinner. Thinner would probably be better. All right, let's sew this back in here. I do have that stuff. Cards. Everything's thick. The only thing I have that's thin is that stuff. But I kind of like that, and I'll probably use it somewhere. All right, let's try that. glancing before I make my decision for final. If I have any bigger pieces, there's a bigger one. We're all mad here. Mm, that would make a great belly band. <laughs> Alright, so here's what you do. So you want to mark where you want to put the cover. So we're just going to get a pencil. And you can just put an X or you can just trace it. And I'm just going to really loosely trace it. So right here and right there, those two spots, I want to cover with something. So we're just going to open it back up. And this is why you don't glue it yet because you've got things to do still. So now I need something there. And this would be, um, I think the direction is the right way. Let me Let me think about it. So I'm going to put an arrow. So I want it to go, if it's directional, I want it to go that way. So I'm just going to put a little arrow. The other one didn't really matter, but that one kind of mattered. I don't know. This isn't really directional. We'll use that one on the side one, I think. We'll use this one here, so it's not really directional. So we're just going to put this here. I'm just going to cut it. You want to make sure that you don't hit your fold, so go inside your fold. And we're just going to glue that on there. And I froze again. Oh, goodness gracious. I was confused, so I didn't know this was double sided. It's a little thick. I hope it works okay. Try not to add too much bulk. All right. You got that little cut there, so just make sure that you don't, don't glue it. Trying to stay just below it. I'll probably open it up and just make sure before I push too much. Yeah, that's good. Especially if I ink it, it'll be fine. So that'll cover that piece. And then we want one here. And this is a little bit directional. Let's see. I'm going to just put an arrow again just in case it makes a difference. Yet yeah, this has kind of a direction. So for this one, I'm going to do the whole thing because it is a side pocket and you probably can see um, a lot of it. So I'm going to do mostly the whole thing, avoiding the fold, of course. We don't want the fold. Either side of this would have been fine. Don't touch your gluey paper. I'm doing good. Right. Let's try to get right on that edge. I think I'm good. Glue that down. And up again guys super frustrating all right there so let's see like this like this like this like this all right there we go so now we have 
basically a lining. Okay. Lining and a lining. Okay. All right. Now I want to ink this little piece here. So you can open it up again if you want. It's up to you how you want to do it. But it's easier, I think, to just open it up. And I'm going to ink this um, by putting down some cardstock. I'm just going to do it like this, I think. And I am just going to give it a ink all the way around. If I had used coffee dyed paper, I wouldn't have had to worry about this little piece. It would have already been brown instead of white. But I did not, so that's okay. And you can decide if you want to do the edges a little bit better. It's a little tricky to do when it's like that small. And then you want to just ink edges as you see that might get glued down later. The outside edges aren't a big deal. Those can be inked at the end. But any inside edges you should go ahead and ink because you might not be able to get to them. But like once you fold it, um, once you fold it then you can pretty much get to all the rest of the edges I think. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. Pretty sure. So you can ink them whenever you are ready to ink them. Like I said, I do have a little bit of white showing here and there on this one because I did it super fast. I mean, like I put this thing together in like 15 minutes. <laughs> All these printouts. I was copy pasting fast. Just go ahead and ink it wherever you feel like it needs inked. I like ink on mine, so. I've got this little white spot there. I'm just going to be very generous with my ink in that area. because it did not line up at all. I'm even putting it in the middle. I'm not sure if that'll show once it's folded the correct way, but we'll, we'll throw a little in there. there. Let's see, did I get everything? Almost. If you don't like a grungy look, then you know, don't worry about inking it. It really doesn't matter. But I don't mind a grungy look. It's a lot of sides. You don't realize with eight pages, there are a lot of sides. All right. So there's that. So get that. And that, and that, and that, okay, so there's that, and get my glue lid back on, and then you just start decorating, that's really all there is to making it. So I'm going to show you guys one more time with the, the one that, this one is technically still fairly I'm pretty sure that I could do that one and share it. But I'm going to make one that we won't be able to share that way. We'll just use it in the journal, I think. I wanted to use line dot Eris paper because I really liked it, honestly. Um, so I wanted to do one with her stuff that we've been using throughout this journal. So this is one of her, her sheets. I printed on avocado dyed paper. And... So I'm going to show you how to do the folds again. 
Um, this one's not lined up, but it, it really doesn't matter because you make your own lines when you make it. Um, so it's just half and half, so half. And this is a print that could go any direction and be fine. So we're going to go half. So if you haven't seen the first part, watch carefully. Try to make sure you're right at the edge. Got nice lines. So do one more. We'll just try to decorate them both at the same time. Maybe I can. Maybe. They're fair, they go together fairly fast. I mean, aside from decorating. This part is fairly fast. Let me see. A little bit off. Granted, my coffee dyed papers tend to not be quite as even. All right, so to the middle. I'm going to ink that so I can see it better. Just this side of the line. You don't want to be on the line because then it won't fold. And to the middle. you push it up okay lay it flat lay it flat okay and then you want to cut this little piece from here to here and I find it easier to do it on the other side just because I can see it better I'm just gonna ink there ink there I'm going to ink this middle one just so I can see it. I'm just inking instead of drawing a line with the pencil. Just because I think it's easier. Cut from there to there. Stopping at the point. Okay. Flip it over. Push it back in, turn, fold down, fold flat. Okay, now this one you can think about where your pockets might need to be so you can figure out the fold. I think that's the top pocket, that's the side pocket. Yeah, so this way. And then just make sure everything is laying as flat as you can. Crease everything because it just lays better. All right, let's see. That one, that one, that one. Okay. All right, so there's our little booklet. On this one, that will be page one. Page two has got the little top pocket spot. Page three has the side pocket spot. And then page four is solid except the top and bottom. Okay? So we'll do a little pocket here. And this one I like. I like the little tear thing, so I'm just going to do that again. And that one is avocado dyed. It could be left like it is. I might go ahead and just ink the edge if I can get to it. Let's see if I can get that little bit of the edge there. Tiny. 
finding it a bit tricky. We can open it up, of course. Let's go ahead and do that at the pocket first, though. So I know where it goes. You do not, oh, that's never going to cut through. It really does not like my coffee dyed paper for cutting. Nope. All right, let me find something hard. There we go. Don't know why, but it does not like my coffee dyed papers. That's, it's got avocado dyed, but we could cover it anyway. So let's do that. Now this can be glued down or not glued down. It's up to you. Um, I saw Tracy use a little paper clip on it, which was kind of cute. She took a little, little mini clip. One of these little guys, little Tim Holtz guys. And she stuck that on there. Like that. And then she stuck a little, just a little thing, like that. So that was kind of cute. So lots of things you can do. You don't have to glue it down. I can see the mini clips coming in handy with these little guys, especially if you don't want to glue it up and you want to be able to open it and everything. But I would suggest if you are going to share yours um, and you're safe and copyright free and everything, then I would suggest opening it up, doing your, your photocopy, and then sewing pages or gluing pages or whatever so that your booklet is then more secure. Because the way it is now, you've got all these like loose spots and I could, I could put a tag there, but it's gonna fall out the bottom, you know, because there's a hole there. So yeah, I can, I can put something in that pocket, but it is gonna go right through. So that's what I would do if, if I was gonna share it. Um, is I would just do my photocopy and then put it all together. So let's throw some of, um, let's see what Line Dot Arrow has as far as papers I can throw in there. I know I've got a whole bunch of hers here somewhere. I think they're in my box. She's a Cheshire cat that I messed up. I messed this one up. It's, it's printed too big. Let's see if there's there's some plain grid that might look good. I could do that. That might look interesting. Even that might look interesting. Maybe I'll do that because that one's all messed up anyway. Actually, both of these are. The A4 was really throwing me off, and I kept printing things wrong. So I'll probably just use that. I'll put her um, Etsy link. I've been putting it, but I'll, I'll put it in my... I've been putting the links in my YouTube videos, guys, if you're not seeing them. It's because they are in my YouTube videos and not the Facebook one. So just watch that video over there. All right, so again, I'm just going to put a little mark so I know where things go. Put an arrow in case it has a direction. Same thing here, a little arrow, and just a little mark so I know where to cover. This one I like to cover because it's a pocket, so you kind of see the whole thing. So I, I will probably cover a little more on that. So I'm thinking I will use, let's see what looks good. I think these flowers might look pretty under there. It might be too similar. That's why I was thinking maybe the grid. Maybe the grid. I think I have enough grid between the two pages. Might save Mr. Cheshire Cat in case I want to use him for something. All right, so we're gonna put the grid there, I think. Let's see how much do we need. I kinda of wanna do most of that area. Might save that for the tear part. 
maybe something like that. I'm debating if I want any of that in it. I think it looks better without it, so we'll probably just take this piece here. I did a really horrible job with cutting that, so I'm going to try to straighten it up. I probably should use my trimmer. Use a trimmer because you know I can't cut a straight line for nothing. Let's see if I can get a straight line off of there. And how long was that? Oops. Mm, about here, maybe. This part's kind of optional. You don't have to cover up the area if you don't want to. Alright, so there's the one piece for the side pocket. And then for this top pocket, what would that look like? Eh, I don't want to look like that. Let's see, what else do I have? Mm. Put that little clock in there, maybe. Might be interesting. Sure. Yeah, I was gonna save the kitty cat, but oh. not sure I'll ever use them for anything. But you never know. You never know. Will that fit? It's close. I'm gonna leave the writing. Take off some of this. I don't need all that. I'm just going to stick this about. Could have gone a little bigger, guys. Oh well. You can always adjust that fold. Here, we'll just adjust this fold just a little bit. So it doesn't. Oops, don't tear, don't tear it. Not that I'm not going to glue it down, but there. We'll just adjust it a little bit so that that shows. I think that'll be alright. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm probably overthinking it as always. Alright, so that goes up that way. I'm just going to throw, I don't know, maybe it's too small. It's kind of small. I might grab something else, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I'm just going to throw it on there. I only really want it to cover just that little piece. Let's save that piece of Alice somewhere. Let's see, is that enough? It might be enough. We'll glue it on there. I think it'll be enough. So basically you make these and you just decorate them and then the idea is after you've made your zine, you're supposed to sign it and date it and then, you know, send it to your friends that are sharing their zines with you. It's an exchange thing, kind of, usually. That is the original, the original purpose of them. Where's that other one? Oh, there it is. Right, so this goes here. I'm just going to do this, I think, like that. It's probably way bigger than I actually need, but we'll throw the whole thing on there. Just keep in mind when you are adding all this stuff, it does add a little bit of bulk, so, you know, don't go crazy about it. Don't add too much. Let's see if we can get this somewhat straight. Side pocket. All right, so flip her over, squish her up, turn her sideways, flip her down, and fold over. All right, so there's that one. That's not bad. I still feel like this needs more ink though. Just a little more. Get that on there. Open it to get to that spot. Yeah. Ah, cooperate. 
I do like that it isn't glued down so that you can play with things easier. And once you get the, the movement of all these folds, it does become much easier. It's almost second nature. And I froze again. Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> okay. So there is our second one. So you guys get the idea? You see how it's done now? Do you understand how to at least create the zine base? Okay, so these are two different sizes because this one was originally an A4, so I did have to trim it. Um, but it really doesn't matter what size you start with as long as you um, have a rectangle of some sort, basically. Okay, this one was a little bit smaller because it was the edges were trimmed off. And then this one's an 8.5 by 11. So they are slightly different because of that. And... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I don't know that I want to leave it as a booklet. I think I want to decorate it. So we need tags. We need two tags. We need a tag for here and a tag for here of some sort. So let's look at my ephemera. Let's see what we've got. Lots of things in here. Cards. What is that? It could be a cute base. I was going to save this for, I think, a belly band. Granted, I don't need 15 belly bands. Now, these don't typically have closure, but once you're done and you know you want to make it like permanent, then you could put any kind of closure on it you want, which I might put a closure on it. I don't know. I saw one person do a closure. I saw another person not do a closure. I think I saw, I think it was Margaret with Seven Plaza. She did a closure on hers. Um, but they don't always have closures. All right, where's all my ephemera? There's some. There's some, there's some, there's some, Got lots of ephemera guys. What else? We also got those cards. I wonder if any of those cards are fit. Uh, these are already kind of sort of tags. Those are lined up arrow. Lots of booklets. <laughs> I've filled up all kinds of stuff already. Anything else that's tag rise? Let's see. I want to have some words that I made. Tweedledee and Tweedledum might fit in there. I don't know. It might be too long. I even have this card. It might fit in one of those. That could be fun. And I have these two. Alright. So I have some that are kind of made. I was saving that one for something. I don't know what yet. Something. that one. That's too similar. I'd like it to stick up a little, I think. I could do that, but I'd just have to trim it a little bit. That's a possibility. This one's not backed yet. Also a possibility, though. Kind of cute. So that's a few tags. This one might fit on the side pocket, too. And then we've got this one. I think I want to use, this is from a book image. So if I stick with the card in the book image, then I don't have to worry about copyright. I could put that there or possibly here. 
It might be better there. So I might put that there. And then something else for there that is preferably not line dot arrow. So we'll use line dot arrow in here. What do y'all think? This one's backed. It's a little too long. If I want the whole tail, not that it matters, you can't read the bottom of it anyway. I might use that one. Either that or Tweedledee, but the, the grid's almost the same. I think it's a little too similar. I could be wrong. What else do I have? Let's see, this is all her stuff too. A lot of these are teeny tiny, but we can use these for embellishments, like flowers and... Is that hers? Hmm. I think it is. I think it's lined out arrows. Where's her sheet? I should have wrote on the back of it. I try to write on the back of things so I don't forget, but sometimes I don't. And then I forget. Let's see if it's on here. Yep, that's hers. That's that one. All right. So that is hers. Is that a postcard? Would that fit? I like this one. Maybe. Maybe. That's cool too. It's a little smaller. Maybe. Could I fit this on the side one? Yeah. All right. So I got lots of choices there and then lots of tiny things. A lot of these are just fussy cuts from her set. Pretty sure this is all lined out arrow. That's what I wrote on there. So it should all be hers. So we'll play with that and decorate. We're running out of time already. <laughs> I may only have time to do one. I don't know. We'll see. Back in here, so I don't lose it. Otherwise, I'll forget whose is whose. Some of it I can recognize really easily, and some I cannot. All right, what do we got here? Oh, that could be fun. Like that. What about a teapot? Mm, a little big. I don't really care if I cover that up. Aren't you? Can you hardly see it? The door too big. Pocket watch, flowers, key, looking glass, but that's too small or too big. I mean, what about the salus? Mm, maybe. It's a bunny. Bunny's cute. Probably want an Alice. It's not a bunny. I like this one with the cake. It fits pretty well. I like that one. It's a sticker. And then play around with some other pages. I should concentrate on the cover first. I'm leaning toward that. This is this ephemera pack from Stamperia. Or Stamperia. I always say it wrong. I've watched all of their lives. I know it's Stamperia, but I always try, try to call it Stamperia for some reason. But it's Stamperia. All right, let's see. What's in this one? Let's see if there's any. I'm trying to find some tags. I know I have tags. But that could be a nice tag base. Hmm. That might be a good 
side tag base. Maybe with some stickers on it or something. And something for that top one. I've got these tea cards. They could be fun. Got twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. That might be fun there. I haven't read any of the pages to see what's going on on each page, but this one's about the, looks like the drink me part. Bottle was not marked poison, so Alice ventured to taste it. Cherry tart, something. What a curious feeling. This is where she stretches. I do have a stretchy picture somewhere. If I can find it. Another twinkle, twinkle. Let's see if I don't think there's a stretchy one in this, but I do have the stretchy picture book image somewhere, which I know is copyright free, so I might use that. Oh, what is this? Random. This is just some other sets that I pulled together that could possibly work. Some of this is Tim Holtz. Some of it's 49 and Market. This little old sticker book from the, probably in the 90s. To say 1998 it's got a couple of stickers in it probably use it somewhere I don't know if I want to use it in this though all right maybe not that booklet let's throw that one over here it's this one fussy cuts lots of little things in here be good for a small decoration. Some more cards. Any of these would work. I mean, I could use that one instead of this. It would fit with the storyline better. Because this is where she's big. Right, let's do that. So it fits with the storyline better, I think. Not that it's a big deal, but eh, might as well. I might as well. There's a key. I might need a key here. Like I said, I don't. Some of these pages are just like. Oh, tried the little golden key in the lock. There you go. There's a key. I might have a better key. There's a lock. Let's see if I have a better key, but there's a key. What else do we got? Kitty cat. We'll have to see if we have any of the Cheshire cat story. Tea cards. Okay, nothing else there. It's hard when you have so many different things. It's hard to decorate two at once, honestly. I probably should just concentrate on one. Give me your heart. So let's jump over to this one and let's do what we have. Put this right there. That right there. Right, let's do this one. So what do we think? This card. I do kind of like the tag sticking out a little. What does that even say? I have no idea. Something in French. Whatever from it, fromages, fromages, possibly clothing of some sort. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. I don't speak French. All right. I think that'll work. What should we put here? We should put this on the side one, right? Let's put this one here. Is it front and back? No, we'll have to back it. It's going to need something to grab hold of, maybe. Is there a better option? Maybe not. All right. I don't have to use her, her stuff. I could use something else. Let's see. What do we got that we could put for a tag? Tab. 
tab. Tab, tab, tab. No, no, no. No, that would be a great decoration piece. Might use that. Ooh, my ears just started ringing. Hmm. I'm just trying to find something I can use for a tab. Just use that. I'm just faint on the color. I don't know if I like the color. I might have something that's a better color. I yeah, need blue. There's no blue. That's the closest thing to blue I have. Green. Oh, that does have some cards on it. Oh, these are cute. What are these? Could possibly use that. It's small. There are some little cards in there. Oh, maybe that one. That kind of matches better. Let's use that one. All right, we we'll use that for a tab. I do need to back it with something though. Do I have anything that will fit already cut? Good question. Postcard, nah. This, let's see. That might fit. I could back it with something for writing, but it's not a big deal. Let's try that. And then the other one I think I said was already backed. Ooh, too much stuff. I'll never get it in there. <laughs> too much, too much, too much. Okay, good. All right, let's put this girl somewhere. We didn't make our cover. We should make a cover. What can I use for the cover? Ooh, the teapot's so cute. Not the best fussy cut. Anything else for cover? Mm, not particularly. Do I have more line dot arrow? I do have more line dot arrow. Anything for cover in here? Lots more tags. Oh, these are cute too. These were her from her freebie. That is cute. Are these backed already? I don't want that pink backing. That's weird. Might just back one of these though. The size looks a little off, but I think I can make it work. That is cute. I think I can make it short enough. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'll back that one with that. I do like the image. And then, I don't know about a cover, guys. That's just something cute on the cover. I could use the teapots. Possibly. Oh, did y'all see something? Cheshire, no, 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 no. Oh, there's a rabbit. Do the rabbit on the cover. We have Alice on the other one. Is there a stopwatch? There's a stopwatch. Nah, it doesn't work. You have better stopwatch than that. Uh, postcards, flowers. Not a lot of great cover choices there. 
I might go with the teapots. I don't know. That rabbit's not bad. I might do the rabbit. Got all talking at all? I can't tell. <laughs> Usually I miss all the chat because it keeps freezing. I'm trying to see what I can put behind him. I might just use one of my quotes or something. If I'm not going to use the teapots. I could do either him or the teapots. I like the teapots, but I might just use them somewhere else. All right, where, what was I going to back? I'll put her inside somewhere. Let's back this real quick because I need to do that. I think I'm just going to use... Um, well, if I can find a piece of cardboard. Where's all my cardboard hiding? There's one. I'm just going to use a glue stick because it'll be quick and easy and I froze again. Trying to keep my patience level, guys. This is freezing stuff. Right. I have no idea how this is going to line up to the front, but I'm going to try to center it and maybe it'll line up kind of, sort of. All right, what else? something else to back. Mm, what was it? I don't know. Maybe I'll put the rabbit there. Where can Alice go? I should put her somewhere here. I was going to put this there, I think. Let me cut this real quick. Yeah, I can cut it with scissors. Ooh, maybe. Maybe, try and see how deep I want to go. That looks about right. I could cut this edge off. I'll probably have to do it from the other side, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it from the other side. Gosh, I'll never get on the line. I'm going to try to do it from this side and hope I can make it look decent. We'll do the two straight edges first. Think about here. And we're going to recut the tag shape with my little cheat thingy. Where's it at? Where are you? Oh. Somewhere. There it is. <sighs> One of these. Uh, uh, that one looks about the right size. Uh, it might be too big to have a smaller one. This was just one of those loyalty cards that I covered, and um, you just cut different angles, and then you use it for making your corners. I covered it with some paper. I think I used E6000. This was um, origami paper. <sighs> okay, that looks good. And I was putting a tab somewhere. Oh, that's what it was. This was getting backed, wasn't it? Was it this one? Yes. That was getting backed. What can I back that with? Let's ink this while I got it out. I feel like I'm jumping all over the place, guys. Probably am. I'm just going to ink this. And we'll put a hole in it and a grommet and a like I said, decorating these is where all your time is, honestly. The making of them is quick. They go together pretty fast. But decorating all the pages does take some time. Let's see. Let me put an eyelid in there, not grommet. Gosh, I always call it a grommet, don't I? Every time. Every single time. I don't know why. All right. Uh... We'll go with this one. And, and let's see, is 
decent on the right size, maybe. I'm gonna make that the front. see what size it's on. A. That should be the right one. Wow. Squeeze it so hard that it pops through. <laughs> I went a little bit crazy with my squeeze in there. Okay, maybe don't squeeze quite so hard. All right, I have some ribbon here floating around this table somewhere. Uh, there it is. What do we got? Got that. Mm, I don't like that. The color won't work. I had another small piece. Where's it at? Okay, you were here earlier. There you are. Small piece. It's fuzzy. Fuzzy little piece. Okay, that will end up going here, I think. Yep, I like that. And then this needs backed. I was going to do this, but I decided not to. I don't know what it says. I'm going to back this with. I had thought I had something. Did I use it on something else? Probably. I could bag it with that, but honestly, I think, I think I just want paper. Does this pink look okay? That's not bad. It matches that color right there. Let's do that. I'm just going to very loosely cut this out so that I can do this quick. That is avocado dyed. I may not get these finished. <laughs> I'm trying to be somewhat fast, but it's too much, I think. I took on a little more than I could. Try and get my lines somewhat straight. Are they kind of straight? Let me look. Uh, not too bad. I think it's kind of straight. Kind of sort of straight. It's very, um, uh, flimsy. Okay. Let's see how straight I got those. for a tab, I think. That little club thing. Alright. Not terrible. It's not perfectly straight, but it's close. It is close, I think. I'm going to go this way. Maybe. I'm debating if I want to leave the little notchy thing. I kind of do. Let's leave it. All right, we're going to ink it though. The lines are crooked. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit crooked. Alright, let's put this 
one here. Try to fold it in half. And we'll use our glitter for that one. Just kind of seeing if it's hitting the notch. Looks pretty close. All right, that works. We gotta decorate some pages, guys. <laughs> I'm not getting very far because I'm too going at once. All right, Miss Alice. You are going to go in here. Well, these aren't closed yet, but they will end up closed. But that will stick out there. And this tag will stick out there. And then we had a cover. What did I say? The rabbit? Rabbit on the cover. And if I'm going to put a closure, I don't know. I have a whole thing of closures here. I don't know what they are. I'm thinking you could feasibly put like a little string type closure or something. I think my other ones are all too big. And the small ones. Yeah, these are really big. They might be too big. Everything's huge. I don't have a smaller hole punch either. I need a smaller hole punch for when I want to make smaller ones of those. And I don't have one. No, it's not that kind of closure. You could prob probably just leave it, but or you could put a clip on it, I guess. I guess you could put a clip on it. Most people don't put, bother putting a closure, but they do kind of not really lay flat once you get them built up. All right, what can I put with this rabbit? All right, we were going to do that, but we're not going to do that yet. Um, I need some word or something. What do we got? Let's see. What do we got? We're all mad here. Curiouser and curiouser. Wonderland this way, that way. Rabbit hole. Oh dear, oh dear, because he's saying he's late, right? I think I'm remembering right. Let's do that. That might be fun. I've got a bunch of lines on here. It's the idea was that you could decide what outside line you wanted to show when I made them. That was the thought process doesn't work perfectly though. <laughs> it kind of sort of works, but it kind of sort of doesn't. Let's see. If I put this top or bottom, I'll put it on the bottom and stand them on it. That might be fun. It just does fit. What else do we have? I should put like a Something just a little thing on the side. I have I I'm late, but I think they're all really big. I put blue on. Do I have a blue I'm late? I'm late. I do have blue I'm late. I'm late. Maybe I could put that on there somehow. If I separate them, maybe. I think I've got room. 
Let's see. Put that there. I think it's big enough. Yeah, that's just right. Run weight there. I need something to weigh this down. Uh, I don't see anything. Stay. Something like that. Make that fun. Alright, and then what else do I got? Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. I froze again. Okay, let's see if we can re redo it. Alright, I'm trying to see if there's any comments. All right, I don't see any. All right, we're good. All right, I'll put this one first. I don't know what time is it. <laughs> I'm running so far behind. Oh well, it is what it is, right? You'll get the idea. Even if I don't fully decorate it and I decorate it some more next live or something. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to put that there. And then I think I want these kind of behind him. Tweezers, where are they hiding? Good job of fussy cutting him out. Not too bad. Go in there, Alice. Maybe. Alice. She was looking at something. I don't remember what. Don't you knew. Table or something, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. You could add little pockets and things, honestly. I could put a pocket somewhere. Might do that. And I'm trying to figure out what I can put that she's looking at. Huh. It's like a little mouse on this one. And I think the possibly the Jabberwocky? Possibly. The mouse is cute. Possibly put that little mouse there. 
I don't know that it really fits the seam, but why not? I'll put the little mouse. Stick them there. I'm just sticking stuff down at this point. Um, doing a little bit of decorating. I just don't know if I'll want them there. I'll put them somewhere else. Maybe there. What else do I have that I could put with them? I do have the bigger ones. I don't know. I need more stuff. Let's see. What do we got in here? I got little round things in there. None that I really want to cut out. They do make good tag holders. I don't know that I want to do that though. That might be a little more complicated than I want. All right, let's see. What else do I have? There's got to be something I can put there. I might just jump over to Stamperia or something. Ah, oh, these are stickers. Well, I think I will put one pocket though, just because it's cute. And what can I put in it? That, that, her. Oh, she's got that pink backing. I really, I like the pink backing, but it's a little much for this book. It's thick. It's very thick. Very, very thick. I don't want to go that. Try and see if I backed any others. Some of these I went through and backed at one point, but some I did not. These at least have holes. They're not backed. They do at least have holes. That would work. Could do that. What's on the other side? Let's put this on a page that does not have the pocket on it, maybe. This side. Go there. Does it need a notch? Nah, it doesn't need a notch. All right, so side panels, side panel, and then this panel. Let's see if we can get that stick. Put, I think one of these in it. Which one looks best? They're not backed, but I can back them. The pink one, maybe? Or the white one? Oh, we could just put them both. Put the large pink one and then a little. Oh, yeah. Maybe this one. Something like that. Sure. Okay, and then I don't have anything there. Let's see what these stickers have. I have the teapot, so I might use those. A Cheshire Cat. Cute. 
king and queen cards flowers what does that say? every adventure requires a first step my use that in that one long tail of course do cards just do a bunch of cards too big these are all too big covers too much try and find something I can stick in there uh, that, that might work just do a couple of cards maybe one red and one black tweezers On the, that goes on that back page. Let's go back in here. Anything that says tea party or anything? Mm, no, no. Wonderland, no. Nope. I know I do, it's just where? <laughs> where? What might that be? And one of my five billion. I like the do I like the red on the front or the black on the front? I kinda like the red on the front. Alright, we'll touch these together first. Let's just do it like that kinda sorta. We're just gonna make a little tuck. Little tuck spot. That'll be fun. All right, Deborah, don't worry about it. And I think I'm just gonna glue, let's see, I'm gonna glue here. And I think here. Just a couple little spots. We should be able to tuck that in there. Yeah. All right, this is so dark. I wish I had something lighter. Already used that one. Can't use that one again. Maybe it just needs more than one. I need to put something on the back of it though. I really don't like the color, honestly. It's just so dark. This is the one I used, right? I feel like I used this somewhere. On my tag? Is that where it was? Is that where it is? No. Oh, it's here. That's where it is. It's like I knew I used it somewhere. All right, so I can't use that one. Oh, here's a card. What is this one? That might be fun. It's got the card guys on it. That'll work. we we'll just do both of these. Back that. That's got the card guys on it. What can I back it with? Probably just paper. All right, we're getting there. Oh, I only have a few minutes left. <laughs> I'm not going to get to the other one. It's just not going to happen. Or I'll just do it next live. I'll just continue decorating. It really doesn't matter if I do it all in one live. Not a huge deal. I, just, I can't really go past 11. That's pushing it. So we'll just concentrate on finishing this one up. And then we'll do the other one next time. All right. What do we got? Um, paper piece that I cut already. Let's see if I can get this straight this time. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Plan 
plants on it. I'm upside down planted that. Do I care? Yeah, I don't care. I didn't see that on the other side. Wow. Way to cut crooked. <laughs> I'm just trying to even this out because I totally cut into the design there. Alright, that'll work. Yeah. Good enough. Alright, there. Cards. Holding the little card dudes. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I think they're called the numbers or whatever they are. Something of spades, ten of spades maybe. Ten and six of spades. I really don't remember the story. All right, teapot goes. I think I was going to put those there. I wanted some sort of word though. What else do I have? Where are my words? Mm. Let's see if we can find something. Put with these. Maybe something in blue. Drink me. It's always tea time. That works. Is that big? I think it'll fit. I think it will fit. Just barely. Okay. These are fun though. They're a little bit time consuming. It's hard to tell because I'm doing trying to do two. I should have just done one. Always overthinking things. Alright, it's always tea time. We'll put that. And our little tea thingies. I don't know what else I'm gonna put with this. You don't have to put anything. I mean reality. Could just be decoration. But I might put something else. Get in there. Alright, anything else? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? this? This is Prima. Some mushrooms. Sorry, I'm probably out of camera. This is a whole different idea of Alice. The pictures are very different. Could be a pocket, but I think I'm just going to stick it down. I don't think this is a sticker. I don't have an S written on it. So typically, if I don't write an S on it, it's not, but I don't remember. It does feel a tad bit thick. Where's the... Yeah, I don't think there's stickers. I think they just are what they are. Okay. Let's see. It's so tiny, guys. I know y'all can't see. Anything tea related I can put over there. Mm. Worked, but 
not if I, unless I cover that up because I don't think I can't peel that up. So no, no, no. If my husband stops starts the shower. I apologize. <laughs> he um needs to get in there soon. can't pick these up guys it's lots of little clocks but I'm trying to find the right size that one might work this ink is not showing there we go these have white edges I don't I hate the white edges but not a favorite Cages. You don't absolutely have to have anything on the back. This was that with the cards. I don't know that there's anything with cards here. There's an Alice. It's a Drink Me Alice. I might save her. I don't know. What's this one? Another teacup Alice. Looking glass. Not really the right story, I don't assume, but you put it there. Is there any cards? Oh, here's a card guy. Who's this? La Bunny. Put him there. He works. It's a, it's a bunny guy. I'm trying to kind of sort of stay in the right storyline, but you know. Not always. Okay, let's see if we can put him. I'm just gonna put him in the corner here. There. Okay, what else? I'm late, I'm late, da 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 Alice. Little tickets. I should put something on top of there, maybe. Uh, we got butterflies. We got a large, very large keyhole that's too big. Glasses. Flowers. Chair. Chair might have been fun, but just can't put it now. Flowers. Flowers. Lots of flowers. on saving some of that for that one. I'm not going to work anymore on it tonight, probably. Uh, mm. No, you can't see me flipping through these. I'm not sure if a butterfly really fits that scene. But I really kind of want something. A very large drink me. Hmm. Was there a drink me page? I mean, that kind of is, I guess. But not necessarily. I kind of like the rose on there, but I also like the drink me on there. Hmm. Oh. Maybe we'll play the drink me on there. Let's see what else we got. 
rabbits, rabbits, cocks. Let's throw the drink me on there. tries to wait till I'm done before he takes a shower because it's literally right next to this room. All right, how does this look? Let's look at it. We're going to close up and if I can, I'll continue the next one on the next slide. All right, I think we are good enough. So we'll finish this one on the next live. I'll decorate it some more. But so this is this one. It's going to have different things in it. More of a booklet type. So we'll save those together somewhere. And this is this one. So we've got, oh dear, oh dear. I might make sure I'm in camera. late, a couple little tickets, and a ticket there, tickets there, and then this one is here, and it's always tea time, and that's it, I might put something there. I'll look and see if I see something, but for right now, we're just going to leave it like that. And then you can decide if you want to close it. Okay. Like I said, if you're going to share it, then you have to be able to open it up. But this one I wouldn't share because it's line dot arrows, digital images, and I can't photocopy them and send a photocopy because that would be against her copyright. So the other one is public domain. Um, that that booklet is a public domain booklet so I could do that with that one but not this one so this one I will glue or sew um, for right now I might just go ahead and glue it just so you can see so basically just pull out your tags so they don't get away and I've seen people sew them and they just take it out and sew so wherever you need to close okay either way is fine um, you don't have to do it you know any one way but if you want to glue it, then you just, you know, that could in fact be another pocket, but I'm not going to make it another pocket. I'm just going to glue it. I'm just going to glue the edges because it doesn't really have to be glued in the middle. So I'm going to close that up. So there's my first page and it's closed now. But only do this once you know you're, you know, you don't want to open it up and photocopy it or anything. Piece at the bottom there where that pocket is so that this tag doesn't go all the way through now it stops okay and then this one gets glued just right there close that pocket off sure I didn't get it too small. I think I'm okay. So that goes like that. And then this one has an opening, I think, at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to put a little bit at the top. Like I said, any of these other openings could feasibly be pockets if you wanted. But it does get bulkier and bulkier, so don't go too bulky. It'll, it'll just get out of hand. You don't want it too too crazy. We want it to fit in our journal nicely. So let me just go back in here. There we go. That's it, guys. So now it's all closed up. It's a little booklet, and it just needs a pocket to go in the page. And um, if I can find my book my journal that would be helpful or just stick it there it is <laughs> so you put it somewhere 
Are we zoom I zoomed out? Yeah, I zoomed out enough. Alright, so this could go anywhere. I had a pocket here. I think this one. This, I believe, is line dot arrow. I think. I have these postcards too. I was going to use one of these as a pocket, but this is cute. Um, let's find a page it looks good on. I prefer have your. And if y'all could feel this, this is the fabric that I put in there. It feels like so soft. So, so soft. I think I'll just stick it here. Let me see. No, I hate it there. I do not like it there. I might have to go on a plainer page. Let's see. I'll find this one. That one's too busy, too. Too busy, too busy, too busy. I might just put it on one of these. I, just, I don't want it too busy. Oh, that pink one's better. Let's go to this pink one. <laughs> My husband's getting a shower. He's like, okay, I'm done waiting. Yeah, we'll put it there. That'll work. So I'm just going to fold this over. This is made to be a gusseted pocket. If you don't want a gusseted pocket, it could totally just be cut out and put as a normal pocket. But if you want a gusseted pocket, and for this booklet, it's probably a good idea to have a gusseted pocket because it is a little bit thick. Just a little. All right, so typically for the, these type, you fold the two small ones in first and then this one last. That way you don't snag on that as easily. I don't particularly like these quite that high. I'm going to drop it down just a bit for my purposes. And then that's a little bit close. I'm going to just angle it just a little bit more. So I'm going to glue this first. Just throw glue on there. Throw glue on there. I'm trying to get too close to the inside because it might ooze. We don't want to glue it to our page in the wrong spots. And then this one, ideally, you, you want it to hold right at that edge, but you don't want it to ooze too much. So it's kind of tricky. So we're going to try it here, I think. I'm going to get close to this edge. Let's try there. And then I'm going to put my bone folder, if I can find it. You can do a ruler or a bone folder, just, just kind of get that down in there. Can you all see? Yeah. Just making sure that that's folded down. And then I'm just going to take my finger in there and make sure it's not sticky. No, it's fine. Okay. And then that's plenty thick enough now to hold this guy. All right. There we go. Ta-da. All done. I might put some sayings or something later. We're not going to worry about it now. But that is it. That is our little zine. Hopefully y'all liked it. I might decorate the pouch more. But that is it. Alright guys. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your evening. I will see you guys on... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what day it is. It's Wednesday. Well, I'll see you on Friday. Alright, so I'll be back Friday night. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>